Hey everybody, wanted to give you an update for the uh, plant propagation bed and the up potting I did for the transplants that I've taken out of the sand media and perlite and put them into regular potting soil on containers. So in the end, after taking everything out and uh, transplanting it, I ended up with 101 of these uh, lavender plants. And so I had to stick some of them outside here and readjust the spray nozzles. And I've changed this to be a uh, every 30 minutes for 10 seconds spray, so that way I don't saturate the soil too much. And then uh, I stopped taking some of the uh, azaleas out because I noticed that their roots were really tender. And so they weren't as well formed as the uh, lavender roots were. I mean, a lavender had some really nice long root growth. But a lot of these azaleas, they were barely, you know, the roots on there were about that long and some of them were tearing off. So I stopped pulling those out. And I'm gonna let those stay in the sand media over the winter and see how they do. And the ones that did have some nice root growth, I uh, put into the pots here. So I did lose a little bit of the azaleas during the uh, transplant. But I guess that's to be expected. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too, uh, too careful to see, you know, how much of that root growth was ready to go. I did a couple of test samples and they looked like they were ready. So I guess azaleas take a little longer than the, the lavender. But that's the kind of thing you learn as you, uh, you do this kind of stuff, you learn how the different plants react to the transplant and the rooting process with the rooting hormones. So, all right, this is, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.